Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. <clears throat> this will be the last full story that I put forth uh, today. I'm tired, I've been eating Christmas stuff, opening presents and all that, and from time to time doing these long-winded diatribes about how I got to know this person, my interactions, yada yada yada. I'm probably going to have to do some videos where I actually tell positive stories and positive experiences I've had with people on the internet though that's kind of tough you got to really reach down deep into the toilet in order to find some little treasure or nugget that's actually any good <clears throat> so the full story about Robert Robertson I guess is what he calls himself he's uh, got he's actually got a different last name but we won't discuss that I did an interview with Joseph Martelli, and Joseph Martelli mentioned the guy. I had no fucking idea who this person was, who this guy was at all. It's just Joseph told me that uh, the guy um, trolls him, stalks him, does all kinds of shit. So this guy ends up calling me up on the phone. So I get in contact with him, I'm talking to him, and he's telling me all these wild-ass stories about Joseph Martelli. Tells me that he's too poor to afford Skype, even though Skype is free, but his internet connection is shit, so he can't have a conversation. He's got to record these decrepit videos where he's in the dark and uh, speaking. Well, it turns out that the guy is a big-time fan of the drunken peasants. Who would have thought, right? And uh, apparently um, goes to Twitter and everything else and always is filling in and somehow managed to get Joseph Martelli into all the drama with the drunken peasants and all that shit. And uh, lo and behold, some people ended up informing me. The same guy ended up going to a DP meetup because he's a big-ass fan. But according to our phone call, which, by the way, I have recorded, <clears throat> he uh, claims he went to the DP, but he didn't have enough nerve to actually say anything or talk to anybody. The guy failed to tell me about his history and his story. He mostly just talked about how terrible Joseph Martelli is and things that Joseph Martelli did. He claimed Joseph Martelli came to his town and did this and did that and told people about how awful he was. But he didn't go into description or detail, which was probably smarter than Mr. Roberts' uh, concept of not telling me about what his story is. He made Joseph Martelli out to look like a terrible person. And from what I see on Twitter, and also me noticing nowadays what's on Instagram, which I never really gave a fuck about that site before, this guy's been involved in a lot of drama. He's been involved in a lot of trouble. He's uh, also created accounts pretending to be Joseph Martelli in order to cause fights with drunken peasants and Joseph Martelli. Um... What's really interesting, though, is when you type this guy into the search engines on YouTube, you're going to find out that apparently a bunch of non-believers ended up finding documentation on this guy that shows that he's a child molester. Apparently, he uh, had sex with a 13-year-old girl, got her pregnant, and uh, has a kid out there. And I have no idea what the interaction is about that. But one thing I do know is that uh, this guy... Because he's a shut-in, an introvert, he's stuck in his house and shit because he can't make any kind of friends out in the world because of what he's done. And he's a registered sex offender of children. He now spends his time on YouTube in his little dirty-ass fucking shithole hut uh, going around starting trouble with Joseph Martelli and uh, being an ass-kisser, the drunken peasants. How ironic that a pedophile is attracted to TJ, the amazing atheist, who has also gotten in trouble for fucking around with a 14-year-old girl, and has also admitted on forums and blogs and pedophile sites that he has actual interest and attraction towards children. His own friend who lived with him for months, Christopher Anderson, already pointed out that TJ likes to show off dirty pictures of kids. So... Not really a shocker or ironic that a sex offender who actually got arrested for having sex with a child is actually running around um, causing trouble for Christians and also adores and admires and idolizes the amazing atheist. 
So, there you go. In some of the Amazing Atheist's older videos, he actually admitted his attraction towards children and his interest. I was actually going to bring up some of these questions during the interview with the Amazing Atheist about this, but my friend Jesus Freak, who's a Christian, told me, you shouldn't. Don't go that route. Just keep it standard, keep it a decent interview, and don't hit below the throat, or don't hit below the belt, and don't go for the jugular. But I want to make it clear right now, I'm throwing this guy under the bus. I have no interest in being friends with child molesters. I don't give a fuck that this guy was the Pope. If I hear about you having sex with kids, you're as good as shit to me. Jesus Freak actually talked to me on a hangout before I even met this guy and asked me, Brett, what would you do? Do you think it's right for parents to uh, assault or kill uh, child molesters and all that shit? And I said, if someone molested my kid, they're as good as dead. They're done. So why the fuck would I continue to have respect or be nice to someone like this who actually has a record for doing the same exact thing that I said that makes me sick? So fuck you, Robert. Continue to idolize your banana deity, the Amazing Atheist.